most of the literature that I read and um, get really excited about comes to me through translation. So there are publishers who I read everything that they publish, like New Directions, for example. Um, and I of, I, I'm always discovering writers that I've never heard of that way. Um, I mean, Roberto Bolaño, who at this point everyone has heard of, I discovered in 2003 that way because New Directions published his fir many of his books, but his first book, By Night in Chile. And I was totally blown away by that book and by most things that he's written. Um, but let's see, recently um, I discovered uh, an Israeli writer who I really am really impressed by. and one of those writers who you encounter and sort of changes all the rules for you. Um, but he's an incredibly difficult writer, I find. Um, difficult in life as well as his work, but especially his work. He's old now, he's about 82. His name is Yoram Kanyuk, the K. And um, he is not very well published here, but you can get some of his books. And the, sort of his masterpiece is called The Last Jew. And it was written 30 years ago and completely ignored even in Israel and sort of hated, not, not just ignored, but like when it was paid attention to, people really had scathing reviews of it. And, and now he's hugely celebrated there, but not well read here. And he, he's, that's like a book that feels still so ahead of its time. You just can't believe that it was written so long ago. It just still feels like we're not ready for it in a way. And it's even hard to describe his work because it's so unusual. Um, so he's great. Um, and then sort of e much easier to read, another writer that I discovered this summer that I like a lot is the Finnish writer Tova Janssen. Has anyone heard of her? The summer book. She, she actually wrote this great series for kids called the Moomin Troll series. And in Europe, it's been popular for decades. Um, she's dead now, but towards the end of her life, she started writing books for adults. And the summer book, I think, is the best of those. But I read all of her books that are translated this summer. I really enjoyed her. Um, uh, well, oh, last night we were talking about a writer that I really love, Danilo Kish. Has anyone read him? K I S. Um, Garden Ashes, uh, Encyclopedia for the Dead. It, he's a great writer um, from former Yugoslavia, now dead also. And I think they're just starting to retranslate a lot of his books. I could go on. <laughs>